Hey, I'm Chris Smith from Christopher Smith. Live it up. I'm Chris Smith from Christopher Smith Photography. Hey, I'm Chris Smith from Christopher Smith Photography, and we're on uh, part four here of the uh, tutorial series for the uh, action pack I uh, made for you. It's a free download uh, on my website. The uh, description is down below for that. Um, go ahead and download that and feel free to uh, play around with it. But uh, I have a four, five part tutorial here and we're on uh, step four. All right, so let's get into it. We're gonna actually start with um, repeating the uh, color dodge and burn that we did in the third one just because I want to start building on this here okay so I'm gonna just get that rolling here really quick all right we got that all right so that is the color dodge and burn we did in the last one here right but in this particular landscape photo it's got a lot of light a lot of white not a lot of black in it don't think it really took it far enough okay so I built another one called color rich dodge and burn all right so let me show you how that works. It's very similar to some of the steps we did in uh, two, in uh, series two with the luminosity masks. All right, so this one uses curves. All right, we're gonna leave that on, okay? I'm gonna do it manually first. I'm gonna go to curves. We're gonna go to multiply. I'm just gonna put burn here so I don't confuse myself. This is the burn layer, all right? Now we're gonna start another one. And we're gonna go curves again. I'm gonna go dodge. And this time our uh, blending mode is gonna be screen. Okay, so we're gonna take these two and we're gonna group them together like we did in uh, the second series. I'm gonna get a mask going there and we're gonna go apply image and put our background in there. All right, I'm gonna try, let's try 75%. All right. So we got that luminosity mask going here again, all right? Look at all the color and the lightness. Look at how real the snow looks now, uh, the sky. But what do you see here? What's going on? The sky is a little too blown out here, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and group these two together. It's like I said, I wanted to show you. We can start stacking some of these techniques on top of each other, all right? Some of these actions. So I'm gonna hit Control G. And I'm gonna get a mask going here. Make sure I'm on uh, black because I'm going to um, reveal the sky in the background layer, okay? So I got my flow set down to 15%. I got a nice soft round brush here. Okay, I'm gonna adjust this with my Wacom tablet. Start painting that sky. Start bringing some of the detail back here. Since we're doing color dodging and burn in here, you know, I'm more focused on really punching up these colors and bring in some life into the scene here, okay? So check that out, all right? Use my mask here to paint back some of the background and that subtle subdued color here. We, it's no longer blown out. And there's my before and there's my after, all right? You know, before I did this, I thought to myself, you know, this would look pretty cool with a, with a LUT on top, color lookup table. So I did the day to night. Look at that, that's pretty cool. And I wanted to bring some light into it. So kind of makes it look like the sun is setting. Okay, so we can get real creative with this, all right? The light would be going down this way, a little bit here, be spilling over here a little bit, a little bit here. You know, maybe a little bit up in the on the peaks here, and a little bit more on here, a little bit back here, even a little bit down here. And yeah, check that out. Does that not look awesome or what? It's pretty awesome. 
So you can get pretty crazy with these, all right? I just put a LUT on top of my color packs, all right? So let me get rid of all this. And let's just do it with the actions, all right? So there's a the color of dodge and burn we did in episode three, okay? Boom, there's that, all right? Now we're gonna go ahead and do the color rich. And this one, again, uses applied image and luminosity masks. So it is gonna stop you at each step of the way and ask where you want that original document to come from, okay? The source document, in this case, we're just gonna do the background, all right? Opacity is at 100%. 75%, 50%, 25%. And then it's gonna default, close it all up into a, uh, a layer here, you know, a group, and it's gonna default at 100%, all right? I'm gonna put it on 75%, and I'm gonna go ahead and group them together. And I'm just gonna call it color dodge I'm just gonna call it color dodge okay and I'm gonna start I'm gonna put that uh, a layer mask back on there let's close this out and I'm gonna start bringing that sky back okay we're just painting with a soft round brush here low opacity flow slowly bringing that back in make the brush a little smaller here kind of bring it down closer and really bring some of that detail back okay the subtle sky actually works fairly well in this image okay at the bottom here but the top really needed to be richened up okay So we took this kind of gray sort of flat image, which you probably experience, you know, a lot out there on a winter day. Not a lot going on, doesn't reflect a lot of color. And bam, added some impact, all right? Added some impact to the backpack, to the snow. Look at how lifelike that snow looks now, all right? So this is all done with uh, color dodging and burning. Um, the curves are actually left alone in this okay we didn't adjust the curves at all we didn't uh, do the horizontal curve like we did uh, previously all right and it's all done with changing the blending mode on the burn layer to multiply and on the dodge layer to screen all right we left the fill and opacity a hundred percent and we're controlling it all with these luminosity masks, all right, that you can do right in the image, apply image, all right? So that's my uh, series four on uh, color dodging and burning. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, go ahead and click like, hit subscribe. Um, go ahead and download that pack. There's one more series left. Where I'm gonna show you something pretty awesome. I call it the painterly dreamy effect, all right? So uh, go ahead and uh, stay tuned for the next one, all right? Series five, thanks.